Afternoon, everybody. It is Sunday, and I think it's about half past six, and I'm just taking the dog, my little binky, for a walk on the golf course, which is literally two seconds away from my house. So uh, we've got to be careful because as it's a nice evening, there's probably a few golfers out here. So we're She's bombed over there. Bib, bib, come on. And it's just like a perfect time to have a little walk. Beautiful evening, peace and quiet. All you can hear is the birds singing and uh, just nice. You can't beat living in the country. I'm gonna walk over here because I can just see some golfers over there. Bib, bib, over here. Um, so, what have I been doing today? Listening to probably four or five hours of uh, audio books from Grant Cardone. Um, I usually spend quite a few hours a day uh, either in the car or if I've got some downtime at home listening to these uh, self-improvement audio books because I do believe in it. And uh, I'm not a great reader. In fact, I hate reading. Um, I hated school and I didn't really find reading a pleasure when I was at school. And it sort of doesn't sink in. I'm, I'm a little, little bit dyslexic, but it's never really held me back. Um, if I do make a spell of mistake, who cares? I don't care. You know, the people who do business with me, they know, oh, you know, they know what I mean. It doesn't have to be proper grammar, even though I use uh, Grammarly to uh, check my emails and my uh, messages before they send, just in case, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, audio books. Um, what am I listening to at the moment? Grant Cardone's Be Obsessed or something. That man is so on it, it's unbelievable. He, um, he is so driven, very inspirational, been there, seen it, done it. And um, yeah, it's just, um, I find it really interesting. And 99% of the things I do anyway, it's what I've always done. Um, but hearing it from other people, it, it sort of strikes a chord and you remember and you hopefully you implement it into your daily life because I know since I've been listening to these audio books when I'm in a meeting all of a sudden I'm coming out with lines which I've heard in these books so my vocabulary is getting much better oh there's a golfer over here come up follow, binky follow me binky which is good um yeah, so be obsessed, which I'm, I'm always a little bit obsessed, uh, to be fair. You know, I, I want to do the utmost best for me and my family. And uh, Binky, this way. Binky. I'm just calling her back because over in the distance. Bink. Bink. Come here. Bink, I'm going this way. Bip, bip. I can see a pheasant. And if she sees a pheasant. Binky. Come on, Binks. Bip, bip. Bip, bip. Come on. Come, Bips. Bip, bip. She's, uh, come on. Here she comes. Because she gets a scent. And that is it. She's gone. And uh, she doesn't stop. There she is, bombing it over there, look. So I've got to keep an eye on her. Yeah, so that's the one I've been listening to today. Uh, be obsessed or something like that. And uh, as I said, I do do as much as I can when I can do it. I do believe putting out as much content on, on social media is a necessity. One or two posts a day is just not enough. Uh, you know, you've got to be on all platforms and post all the time and uh, speak to your audience, make sure, you know, um, the people out there are 
listening to you rather than your competitors. So when my competitors are looking for a loft conversion, mansard, side return, kitchen extension, basement, full refurb, interior design or architecture, they go, oh, let's phone up Nick from New Projects. And that's what happens. It's not instant success, it's uh, brand awareness and it does take time. But I'm not looking for a quick sale. <whistles> Binks, come on. Here she comes. Come on. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Come on. Here she comes, Lenny. Where are you? Oh, thanks. Oh, dear. So. Looking for, I've got a meeting tomorrow. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a bank holiday Monday, but I've got a meeting tomorrow. Uh, a couple of my buddies have, uh, they've just exchanged in a property and they've said they want to meet me because there may be some kind of deal there. I don't know what it is. Could be a joint venture. They may want me to do the bill to them. I have no idea, but I'm really itching to get back to work because four days off for me is like torture. Um, even though I've loved sitting in the garden, spending time with the family. I've had my mum round today. She's 86, so we had a barbecue in the garden and uh, she enjoyed it. Very hot there for her. Yeah, so looking forward to just getting back, back to normal as soon as possible. Loads of deals, loads of things we're trying to do. trying to get the pipeline fuller than it's ever, ever been. Bink, this way. Um, as our old mate Grant Cardone says, 10 exit. Well, I'm trying to 20 exit. Keeping, my, keeping myself, my, my body strong. You know, I do... 10 minutes of exercise every day in the morning. I've got a little home gym in the garage and um, literally on the treadmill for 10 minutes, maybe five minutes on the treadmill, like walking uphill, then um, five minutes jogging. Um, then three sets of bench press. press um, I guess it's about 90, 90 kilos. Um, then some dumbbells from my biceps, some light dumbbells from my shoulders. Bib, bib, come on. Just to keep me fit and strong. Because I did go for a little bit of a period where I wasn't doing any exercise, maybe once a week. I've had a personal trainer with me for five years. And um, I used to train three times a week with him, hard. And I was probably 13 and a half stone, fit as a fiddle. Uh, but literally just once, every Saturday morning I have Joe. Um, so I was sort of, my body mass of muscle was shrinking because once a week isn't enough. So I'm trying to do, oh, Binky, I'm trying to do as much as I can on my own, you know, but dump a few dumbbells. Where's the pink, where's the pink coming? Binky, come on! <laughs> Out of the distance, look at her go. She's bloody crazy, that girl. Come on. Look at that, look. See her? Here. Here. Binky, come here. Come here. Come here now. Don't run off. Come here, come here. I think I'm going to put her on the lead. Wait there. Put her on the lead because I can sense she's going to see a pheasant and she's going to be off. Yeah, so going back, so fitness uh, five days a week uh, in the gym on my own, 10 minutes of a few light exercises just to keep me pumped and physically stronger uh, than what I was at least four months ago. 
So literally just walking back, here's the golf course, just walking back on with Binks. And just here, just this, this behind this hedge here, this big hedge, ooh, all along there. That's my old house back there. I lived there for six years. So that backs onto the golf course. And we just literally moved from there three months ago. Not far though. I can see the guy always, he's sitting outside in a patio. Get, I love that house as well. There he is, the old guy sitting outside. So yeah, all good, all systems go. Again, if anyone out there is watching and then you actually got to 11 minutes, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share and um, keep following our progression at new projects because 2019 is going to be a really good one. And um, I've, I write my goals down every day, which are private to me, but I do write them down every day. And um, hopefully they're all gonna come true. So listen, have a great rest of your Sunday and um, enjoy your bank holiday Monday. I may make a video tomorrow, uh, but anyway, see ya.